This is Fort Christmas Cemetery. It's located near Christmas, Florida. It's one of the oldest cemeteries in Central Florida, established in 1869. We're going to visit some of the historical gravestones of the uh, pioneers of the Christmas area. We're also going to um, see some of the bittersweet um, modern uh, memorials. So uh, come join us. Before us here is the Gold Star Mothers Memorial, as well as beneath that, Christmas Cemetery Veterans Monument, which was dedicated in 1996. Dedicated to honor those men and women buried in Christmas Cemetery who served our country in times of peace and war, and especially to those who gave their lives in that service. And some of the names of those veterans buried here in Christmas Cemetery. And a beautiful live oak shading the old section of the cemetery here at Christmas. This is the grade of James Hewlett Wheeler, the cowboy sculptor. He's probably the most famous person buried in Christmas Cemetery. He was born in 1901, passed away in 1954, and famous for his uh, Western style sculpture. And this is uh, Osteen family plot. And these are one of the pioneer families of this part of Florida. Holly Ann Osteen, born in 1846, passed away in 1917, and God we trust. William Jackson Osteen and Polly Ann. William born in 1847, passed away in 1925, and Polly Ann born in 1846, passed away in 1917. And then William J. Osteen, and he is a Confederate veteran Part of uh, Watson's company, Munner Lynn's Florida Battalion, the Confederate States Army. Born in 1847, passed away in 1925. This is the gravesite of John J. Hodges. Born in 1848, passed away in 1909. A Confederate veteran and his wife Eliza A. Hodges. Born in 1853, passed away in 1920. This is the grave of J.R. Um, A. Tucker, born in 1823, passed away in 1904, Confederate veteran. This is the grave of Charles Mike Wheeler, and he served as a private in Bullocks, Florida, volunteers, and also the, he was a private in the um, Company C, Florida Infantry. He also served in the Seminole Wars. I would most likely say the Third Seminole War. He was born in 1831, passed away in 1896. And uh, Seminole War veterans are very rare to find in the cemeteries. This is the grave of W.W. W. Nettles, born 1835, passed away in 1911. He was a Confederate uh, veteran of the Civil War. He was the son of Willis Nettles who was killed by Seminole Indian Chief Osceola and his warriors at the edge of Payne's Prairie the day after Fort King was attacked and burned in Ocala. This is the grave of Henry Bryant Osteen, born in 1872, passed away in 1951, one of the pioneers of Christmas, Florida. This is the... Uh Grave of Sybil May Hodges, born in February 10th, 1921, passed away October 27th, 1922. A year of age, suffer little children to come unto me. I'm not um, exactly sure how to interpret this gravesite, but includes uh, complete natural elements of wood, 
and animal skulls and a um, and a little bunny and uh, no name and rodeo is popular as well in these parts this is Rebecca Shannon Clark's graveside uh, Beck born in 1988 passed away in 2005 right on forever Rebecca love dad Cheryl and Jessica and on the other side of her tombstone cutting two and a half minutes of fame the announcer babbles on your horse looks around the herd scatters your heart races you get a calf cut out a flinch of an ear a jump to the right this seems like it's taking all night the buzzer rings the crowd screams the score is the ride of your life rebecca and possibly written by rebecca very interesting a memorial to brett allen bowen he never met a stranger Another moving, fascinating tombstone. Danny Carl D. Barber, born 1942, passed away in 2001. You are the wind beneath our wings. We will always love and miss you.